Hey guys, it's Trip with Ift, and today I'm gonna teach you how to build community on Slack. So what is Slack? Slack is a communication tool mostly used by businesses, but I'm seeing a lot more people build, I guess, business-related communities on Slack. So if you uh, follow any linked influencers, they all have a Slack community which you can engage with um, and build relationships with around specific professional topics. Um, I think Slack long-term would love to be more of a B2C commercial product, but they really found their niche inside of the B2B world. Uh, and I would argue that, yeah, Slack is more for B2B professionals like LinkedIn, um, where Discord, if you wanna watch our Discord video, check this out. Uh, but if, where Discord's more for B2C um, communities around non-professional things, all right? So you're actually in the if Slack right now. This is how our whole team kind of interacts and, uh, you know, gets projects done, talks really quickly. It's way better than email because email can just, you, things can get lost. Where Slack, you can really create channels on specific topics um, and things you want to talk about. For example, the IFT has a pets channel and we share our pets and we get to share that side of our lives with each other. It's a really cool way to learn a little bit more about your coworkers inside of um, Slack. But if we move this over just a little bit, and I click this, I'll show you some other Slacks I'm a part of, all right? So um, Product Marketing Alliance is like an industry-specific uh, Slack where you can kind of dive in and like go talk to other professionals around product marketing. Superpath is around content marketing. That's what I do here at IFT. Um, Hive is the Beehive Network. Uh, I just joined that one, and of course, I need to dive in and start interacting with those people. But as you can see, um, you can join any Slack group that you're wanting to join around specific topics. A lot of them do lean business related. Um, so let's jump back into the IFT side. Uh, and then you can also do direct messages if you want to talk to specific people on your team, create um, channels on specific subjects like marketing or the marketing product connection um, or social listening. I've set up some IFT automations where I can, you know, see what people are saying around on the social media and it just adds it straight to my Slack channel so that all I have to do as the marketer, I don't have to be following each one of these social channels. Um, I can just get notified if any posts or comments come up on those social chat. So social media channels inside of Slack, but let's see what you can do with Slack on IFT. So this is the Slack service on IFT. All right. If, remember, if you dive down here, you can see what other people are using Slack or integrating with Slack and like what other applets people have built. Um, automatically post a s message to Slack when specific events are about to start in Google Calendar. This is great if you are knee deep in work and you forget about a Google Calendar meeting, it will get a notification on Slack and helps you kind of jump over and join that meeting. Um, Automatically send Slack messages when new reviews are submitted on Google My Business. This is great for small businesses that are managed. Their reputation is built on Google My Business. Get no notified when those reviews show up and you can go answer them on side of uh, from Slack into uh, Google My Business. Automatically post a daily reminder to a Slack channel. This is really cool. And again, 5.9 thousand people use it. Um, if you have you know, daily standups and you want to notify your team, say, Hey, uh, we're meeting here, post a, a link to a Google calendar, uh, event or link to a zoom meeting, right? Uh, this is, this would be great for our, uh, pitch channel at IFT. When you post to Instagram, share that photo on Slack. You can send it to the specific pitch channel. Uh, I might share this with our team and just remind them, Hey, set up your Instagram to Slack for us. So, and then this is one, 2.7 thousand people use this one. Get a morning reminder about your first meeting that day. So who loves looking at their Google Calendar? I don't think anyone. <laughs> so this is a really good way to get notified of your first meeting while you settle in for work that day. Um, and again, almost 3,000 people use that. So go check it out. Go start use some of these applets. Um, get started. Let me know what you think. Um, uh, the total 
extent that you can do on Slack right now is post to a channel. So what that means, it's an action. There's no triggers. I can't listen in Slack and get add content into Facebook or add content into Twitter. Um, but I can take content from 900 different tools on Ift and then publish them inside of Slack. Uh, and again, Slack is one of our most favorite integrations just because it helps build that community either on your team um, or those professional communities really well. Because you can say you can be a LinkedIn influencer and you're wanting to share your content inside of Slack. So it's a good way to um, integrate those two tools together. All right, so let's go create our first uh, Slack applet and start building that community. All right, so now we are in, we just click the create tab and we're in choosing a service. Um, I think it'd be really cool to share just news updates with coworkers and one that'd help us have subjects to talk about um, that aren't work related and help build our relationship interpersonally, all right? There's a few of us that love watching the Premier League. So if we actually search in the services and we look for Premier League news, again, we have over 50 news sources. So you can do anything from CNN, BBC, Fox News, um, technology news. We've got a bunch of that as well on here. Uh, and ESPN, so a lot of sports news as well. But if you're trying to automatically give your community something to talk about in your Slack channels, I think it'd be smart to set up a few um, news automations or that can just kind of publish into some fun, playful channels on your in your Slack account. So let's click the English Premier League news. So we've got a lot of triggers on this and it depends on what fan you are. So if you're a Liverpool fan, a Manchester United fan, Everton, uh, Brentwood, Tottenham, Leeds United, they're not even in the Premier League anymore. Um, or there's other, so let's say new post on football ta talk or tribal football. So let's say any new post on football talk. We're going to click that. I'm going to say, then that, my action is going to go into Slack. So I'm going to say Slack, post to a channel. Um, which channel? It's going to be a direct message. I'm going to say Ben Terrell. All right. Ben's my buddy. You've seen him in the live streams. We chat Premier League all the time. And now whenever a new post on football talk gets published, I'll just send him a message and we can chat about it. Okay. So it's going to include the entry title and the entry URL and the title is going to be entry title. So what if I just do remove this entry title section right here? I'm going to do title URL. Might as well. Entry URL. Okay, perfect creating this action and say continue and finish. So this is a really cool way to really just spark some conversations with your community and get people to engage without you having to be there. Remember the best, one of the best signs of a thriving community is level of engagement without you existing to encourage that engagement. So um, what I see a lot of people doing with IFT is just, yeah, engaging their audience on Slack with industry specific news. If it's a professional community or um, even your, you might be an internal team using Slack and you either do non-professional stuff or you can we can set up like very niche industry specific stuff that you can ping to your uh, teammates to make sure that they're all keeping up to date with the latest industry specific news. Well, cool. Well, thank you again for joining me. Uh, let me know if, what Slack applets you actually create, share them in the comments below. I'd love to see them. And again, this is trip with IFT where everything works better together. <laughs>